I've had a few people ask me, um, how do you uh, make your own little web server for like your house or for friends to view or whatnot? And that question is easy. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. First, we're going to get the software. Go ahead and type server to go in Google. That's your first choice. And this software is really nice because you don't have to install anything. You can run it from a USB, a CD-ROM, or a folder from your hard disk. And it's already self-configured, so you don't even have to worry about hardly anything. And as you can see here, it's free. And there's a bunch of other different options you can go with. But let's go ahead and go ahead and download. And then this is all you need is the mini package right here. This will include SQL. PHP and then you can also get the newer Apache with it right there right now I have this one already downloaded so I'm going to show you about this one you know you really don't need to so just go ahead and click this one all right then it'll go ahead and it'll start downloading notice it's downloading but I already have it downloaded so uh, after it's done the download you're gonna unarchive this into a folder as I got right here. So ready to go. And all you have to do is run this and see as it loads up. It's not installed or anything, it's just in this independent folder right here. And now, as you can see, that's my local address right there. I'm running my own server. Apache's run, so it's PHP. SQ, Light, MySQL, and Perl are all running right now. So right now I can develop web pages so anyone else that types in my local address can do it. As well as you can have friends over the internet type in your IP address with this port number. Just simply type IP config backslash forward slash all and then you're gonna go ahead and where it says IP address because I'm connected through my wireless right now so this is not gonna be a valid IP address but you go to your IP address right there and you paste that to them in this format and type your port and then you're done and they should be able to view your web pages and whatnot through your own little server works out pretty great I use it for uh, my media center and for family members so they can connect to my computer and download movies or music straight from me because they don't know how to do it so yeah but it's really simple software it's already configured so you don't even have to worry about anything just run it and go and you can put it on a portable USB drive whatnot whatever you want to do so it works really great it's better than buying, I don't know, a $500 operating system that just does this. As well as, let's see if I remember how to find In my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change your Windows XP, because that's what I'm running right now, it's Windows XP. I'm going to show you how to change your Windows XP from only allowing 10 connections to up to 15, 20, 50. That way, if you want to run a bigger server and have more people connect to it, you can do that. But I'm going to show you that one on my next tutorial because we have to edit some system files. If you have anything you would like to see, video, tutorials, anything, go ahead and send me a comment or a message. Okay? Please comment my videos if you like them. All right, that's all I got for you today. Thanks.